Hello everybody, it's about that time. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. This is the trial run, first beer with the new microphone that I have. Uh, so hopefully we're not going to get too much hiss or buzz or hum or any of that kind of stuff. So guys, uh, this is the first one with the new microphone. Uh, give me some comments back saying you like it, don't like it, or whatever the deal is. So we're going to do a few and uh, see what everybody has to say about the uh, uh the improved uh, sound. I uh, had a lot of people saying, well, couldn't hear me, I couldn't hear me, couldn't hear me. So uh, I bought the, uh, the new microphone, got it plugged up to the camera and got it on my shirt here. So hopefully uh, you can hear me now. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? All right, guys, this one, this today's beer is uh, Toppling Goliath Brewing Company. This is their Pompeii. Uh, and it is a uh, American IPA. This was sent to me by my brother Greg, and he writes uh, from Toppling Goliath. He said it's a world-class brewery from Iowa, and they made a trip out to his neck of the woods, and him and his neighbor Rob made uh, the trip out to the event where they had it, and he got this beer at the event on February the 24th. He said there's no date on the can, but he sure it was very fresh. So. These guys at uh, Toppling Goliath, if you're going to get in or stay in the IPA business uh, and doing cans, they need to get that dating machine, guys. Y'all know how I feel about that. So, uh, just my opinion, though, on that, guys. So, that's what he uh, what he has to say. What he's uh, the note that he has written me. So, uh, Dave and Rob, appreciate it, guys. All right, let's. Uh, Let's see what this brings to the table here, guys. 6.2% according to untapped uh, and 50 IBUs. So uh, not too strong of an IBU. Shouldn't be too awful bitter. Uh, so we shall see. All right. Uh, commercial description on untapped says, Influenced by the preserved mosaic buried under the ash of Mount Vesuvius, Pompeii is our single hot mosaic IPA. It houses mango and pineapple flavor with a medium bodied feel and bright tones to tantalize the palate. Sounds pretty tasty to me, guys. What do you think? All right, very, uh, very impressive artwork on the can here. And I'm sure they spent a ton of money because it is not a uh, uh, stick on label or, or shrunk wrap. Uh, it is actually a printed can, so I know that costs a lot of money for that to be done. Uh, to me, I just soon them put a stick, plain Jane silver can with a stick on the label and take the money they spent on having all these fancy cans printed up and get a dating machine, put it on the bottom so we know how fresh the beer is. Yeah, that's the hot tip. Uh, so we got the commercial description, ABV, IBUs, and it's as fresh as Greg can get his hands on. So. Let's pop a top on this. First beer of the day for me today is March the 10th, Saturday. So into the glass we go. And while I read this, if I can get the computer to stay on here. Uh, cuisine is curried in a Thai. Cheeses of pepper, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp blue cheddar, your stronger cheeses, go risotto, Limburger, meat, poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon. I'll add grilled meat to that. Glass for a pint, back or tumbler mug, stein side dal. I got my favorite tulip glass. And not recommended for sustaining salaries. None of your IPAs are, guys. Another reason why we'd like to have a date on them. Uh, almost a finger of head on that. It's not real cloudy. Looks like a filtered beer to me, guys. Uh, nice uh, amber color to it. Let's get it to the nose and see what we got. Uh, 
very nice aroma it's not off the chain or anything but uh, to me it smells like a west coast style ipa guys nice pine grapefruit pineapple there's some tropical fruit notes there maybe some papaya or mango nice citrusy notes uh, oranges it smells very nice so let's dive in see what we got cheers everybody cheers greg and rob thank you guys very pleasant very very nice uh i'm getting the same thing on the taste that i was on the nose on the aroma uh pine grapefruit pineapple very citrusy tropical fruit notes tasty beer if it had a date on it was available here i would probably buy this beer guys awesome lacing it's already leaving on the glass very nice well, let's do the back end pour see if it changes the clarity or anything of the beer doesn't seem to be so uh, still got uh, uh, well it may be a tad just slightly cloudier than it was so maybe had just a little settling going on uh, in the bottom of the can but uh, still not to the juice bomb or or unfiltered to me it still looks like a filtered beer maybe wrong on that but i don't have that information it doesn't say on the can whether it's filtered or unfiltered so uh well let's sip on this for a while let her taste it and uh, we'll come back and do the final grade and chug on this one all right guys i've got just a little bit left here an awesome lacing is left on the glass a very tasty beer uh very enjoyable like i said if they would uh, if they were available here and they had a date on the bottom of it, I would probably pick these up. Uh, very enjoyable. Uh, now that it's warmed up, I'm, you know, I don't taste anything different than I did originally. Very pleasant IPA, guys. Like I said, uh, not sure whether they consider it an unfiltered beer. It is kind of cloudy, kind of hazy, but it is nowhere near any like a New England style IPA or a juice bomb or anything like that, but still very pleasant final choke uh, delicious guys uh, I don't think it's uh, world-class or anything like that uh, it's not blowing my hair back of my socks off but it is very tasty I think it's an A beer guys I'm gonna give it an A minus uh, probably get a little bit better grade if it had a date on the bottom of it uh, 92 is where I'm gonna put this one so uh, I do appreciate Greg uh, and Rob uh, going to this event and picking this one up for me and getting it down to me. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, they say 4.34 out of 5. That's in their A- minus range also. And Untapped has it at 4.1615. Uh, and that's also in their A- minus range also. So it's unanimous, guys. A- minus beer all the way around. Uh, I enjoyed this. It's a nice beer. Uh, like I said, I don't think it's uh, anything that's going to blow your hair back or your socks off. Unless maybe it's the first IPA you've ever tried. Uh, uh, the bitterness is very well balanced on it. Uh, for 50 IBUs, that's basically almost into the pale ale range. So, very easy drinking for an IPA in my opinion. So, we're going to wrap it up on this one guys. Uh, a very nice beer. And like I said at the beginning, uh, uh, got the uh, got the external microphone uh, on today, uh, giving it a try. We're gonna probably gonna do a week's worth of beers and uh, see uh, what kind of comments. If uh, if everybody likes it, don't like it, uh, let me know what you think. If you're getting too much hiss, too much hum, too much buzz, or if uh, everything is going well on your end. When I do the beer reviews or watch beer reviews, I watch them on a computer where I can turn the sound up and down. A lot of people in this day and age watch them on their smartphones or tablets or what have you. And uh, a lot of times those little small speakers or, or headphone jacks uh, with earbuds or whatever doesn't give you the volume sometimes. So hopefully this is going to correct that. 
and uh, everybody that listens on whatever platform they listen on uh, is going to be able to hear it, a, you know, in a decent volume. So let me know, guys, uh, what you think. Like I said, we're going to do this uh, for at least a week and, and see what kind of feedback I get on this. So till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.